In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get to Shibuya in Tokyo, Japan and explore Shibuya Station and everything around it. Shibuya. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Empathetic Wanderers. My name is Jeff, and on this channel, I give you ways to deepen your travel experience, hopefully access otherwise inaccessible situations while traveling abroad, specifically in Japan. If you are new to the channel, I currently live in Japan, and so I make videos on you know travel vlogs, food vlogs, kind of how to get around Japan. Uh, and while I really enjoy getting to the more obscure parts, one of the really important things I feel like is when you're coming here for the first time, you're still going to want to see some of the big touristy areas and being able to navigate those places, how to get in and around them um, can just lower your stress and give you a way to uh, kind of give you the, the space and the energy to try and find some of the more um, obscure and off the beaten path places. And so today we're gonna to explore uh, Shibuya. Uh, this is gonna be a three-part series uh, where I show you Shibuya Station and then I show you uh, different parts of Shibuya that I quite enjoy, kind of how to get around, what to look for, what not to uh, go to and, and all that stuff. So if you like Japan content, if you like content on language or even on Korea as I was living in Korea before, uh, definitely consider subscribing. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on the content that I put out uh, every single week. And um, yeah, let's just get to the video. All right, so just to show you how to get to Shibuya Station, I'm going to show you how to get there from Shinjuku Station, which is where starting point that I always use when I'm showing people how they get places. Super easy. As you can see, it's a 41 minute walk, but um, there is a train that you can take from Shinjuku to Shibuya Station. Uh, it's very cheap and it is only about uh, maybe a seven minute um, train ride and it only costs about $1.50. Uh, Shibuya is you know, a major kind of like business hub. Uh, as you can see, it is located in kind of southwestern Tokyo, uh, the Tokyo that most people are touring, are touring in. All of these places that I'm circling, the Imperial Palace, Tokyo Tower, uh, the Sky Tree, Akihabara, uh, they're all just the touristy areas and um, they all take about 30 minutes to get to depending on where you're going from where, but they're all close, but they're not as close as they might look on the map. Um, but definitely a great place to go, and it's really, really easy um, to get to, and there's lots of food and lots of... Um, also, there are lots of English spoken at Shibuya Station, so if you do have questions, you can go to the information booths at Shibuya Station, and they will be able to help you. All right, so we have made it here to Shibuya. Uh, just wanted to start out with uh, Shibuya Station. Um, I'm trying to walk a little bit further away from it because if you've ever been to Shibuya, you know that there are a million, million, million people. So um, first place that we are going to go, there's a lot of exits outside of Shibuya Station, um, but if you, oh, Anaheim Angels, sorry. Um, if, uh, if you're looking to go to the Hachiko State uh, statue, uh, which like almost everyone wants to go to, um, it is one of the exits of Shibuya Station. So just be aware of which exit you're getting out of because Shibuya Station 
is really, really big. Uh, big. And uh, once you get out there, Hachiko statue is actually also right where the um, the uh, crossing, the really famous crossing that everyone wants to go to, um, where all the people are. So I'm gonna show you guys that, show you a little bit of the shopping that is available there, um, as there's a lot of restaurants and things to do. Um, and then from there, go to a couple other places in Shibuya uh, that are outside of kind of, they're further away from the station, but they're technically still a part of Shibuya, uh, like Harajuku, uh, Meiji Jingu, and Yoyogi Park. Um, and Omote Sando. Um, so yeah, first we'll sh I'll show you around, just around the station, and then from there head to uh, the Meiji Jingu area, which is near all of the other areas I just said. All right, that is gonna wrap up this video on Shibuya Station and the stuff just right around Shibuya Station. If you enjoyed it, definitely hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if there is something that I missed or if there's something else that you would like to see in Shibuya. Um, today's video was just about getting to Shibuya Station, kind of navigating the station itself as it's a really large station and just getting around to the things right around the station, like the crossing that everyone wants to see. In the next couple videos, we'll be exploring some stuff right outside of that area. Um, so definitely make sure to check those out. If you like Japan content, if you like Asia content, language content, definitely consider subscribing. Make sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of the content that I put out every single week. Uh, I really appreciate you watching. Let's just keep being empathetic, keep wandering, keep spreading positivity, and I hope to see you in the next one.